Now here we are with Dan Hale. Dan's going to tell us about his uh, model planes. The ones he has here today are all electric motor driven, but they're fascinating. And he builds them himself and going to fly a few of them out here in Chantilly uh, Farm here in Floyd today. Um, Dan, tell us, just show us the planes there a little bit and tell us what you've got there. Uh, what I bought today was uh, flying wings. Uh, this is my earlier version. Um, this one was a uh, first model. Uh, it was originally supposed to be a, a slow flyer, but uh, we've uh, changed the motor configuration, made it a little faster. And they're also pretty durable. Uh, after uh, flying them and making them, um, I'll test fly them, and see what changes I need to make, and then we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. Uh, the second model I have built is a uh, another wing, and all these planes are made from poster board, poster board and packaging tape. And you design them yourself? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, this one here is a second version from the first wing that I made. Mm -hmm. um, this version is a lot wider airfoil, um, a little bit sturdier, um, taking impact and crashes and stuff like that. So. They were pretty durable. Uh huh. And how? Tell me just how 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 far away can you control that and, and fly it? A few uh, hundred can, yards. Oh yeah, um, about as far as you can see them. About as far as you can see them. As far as you can see. Yeah. Them. Okay. Uh, they're FM radio range, so um, the remotes that I do have uh, alternate between signals, mm -hmm. so you don't cross uh, or have interference with um, other electronic. I equipment. see. Great. And they're also good at slow flying speeds, which you'll probably see later. Uh-huh. Uh, this one is a design that I got offline, but I made it out of poster board. Uh, this is the uh, fun bat that I made. Um, there's some modifications to it as far as motor configuration, uh, motor, and just general setup. But this is the uh, fun bat. Uh, it's capable of vertical takeoffs. And I'm surprised the electric motor has that much power, but it does. Oh, yeah, it's got it enough does. power to. It does. Yeah. Uh, this is one of the other bigger ones that I've made. Um, different techniques. I can, you know, look online and come up with different techniques to uh, produce wings. But I went from the flat style Air Force wing. To a more aerodynamic real airplane wing. Mm -hmm. uh, this plane I usually use for um, videos. Um, Surveillance sort of things, camera yeah, work? Cameras and mm -hmm. uh, attaching to either under the wing. I see, okay. Or in the front here. And oh. this is also a glider. Mm -hmm. So. And what's that one made out of? Uh, this is poster board. Everything I made is poster board. Well, wow. well, that's really neat. And how long have you been building these uh, home home uh, designs? I started building them probably about uh, several years ago. I started building them. Uh, I started purchasing other planes and start making them out of balsa wood. Got away from balsa wood because it took too long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I did the uh, poster board, which is cheaper and easier to replace. They're pretty much disposable planes. Right, and where, where do you live and do most of your flying now? I live in Franklin County. I do most of my flying either at home or a field next to me or Wade Park in Franklin County. Mm -hmm. Well, we're glad to have you come up here to Chantilly and do a little flying. So, um, we're just, I guess the best next thing to do is go out and put them yeah. in the air, huh? Yeah, we'll try one. Um, I'll show you the difference between um, the first version wing and the second version wing, uh, if it's not too windy. Um, hopefully if we crash, we'll show you how doable they are. <laughs> oh, great. Well, we're looking forward to that. Yeah, but it looks like it's going to be. Now, when you fly one of these, uh, is there a much learning curve from one plane to the other? Is there quite a bit of difference in characteristics? Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot uh, of it. With this plane, um, I have this set up on pretty much two channels. Mm -hmm. So your right is right, left is left, down is up and up is down and this is your throttle I see and with uh, configurations on the big orange one the glider you have uh, rudder control left and right 
Um, you've got your gas, and you have your left and right up and down motion. Oh, so you got a lot more controls. Yeah. You just have to remember which one you're flying. Yeah, this one has uh, it has the uh, functional ailerons. Got your functional ailerons. Oh yeah, I see. Uh huh. Yeah. It's got your elevator. Uh huh. And it's got your rudder. Uh huh. Reverse things, you know, you can set the repeller propeller off. So, we'll, uh, I had originally had this set on another for another airplane. Since I'm using this one, we're gonna make sure we set them up right. So that's the only, you, the ailerons is the only thing you have control on on this, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, these ailerons, uh, by them being in the rear, they're um, ailerons, because they control the elevator movement. So when you want the plane to go up, they do like a Oh, okay. Uh, right, right side goes up, uh -huh. right side goes down, and vice versa. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you're controlling all them functions while you're flying. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, that, that little uh, electric motor on there with the propeller makes a pretty good whine, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It's really, really cranking out some power. Yeah. Oh. Let me show you some speed here. So we can get an orientated. Orient it. 